Okay, so um, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video, not just any video. I want to see what's inside these two cabinets right here. That's the Engel cabinet and this is the Bagheera cabinet. So kind of like uh, a very expensive cabinet versus uh, the cheapest uh, 4x12 cabinet out there. So let me go ahead and flip these ones around and take a look what they look like inside. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the two. That's the Bagheera right there. And that's the Engel cabinet right there. So let's start off with this Bagheera right here. Um, I'm a little bit surprised, but you know, this, uh, this um, cabinet right here is made out of uh, MDF, which is absolutely maybe not the most perfect type of board to build a cabinet because you know uh, this is material is well known for cracking like you can see right there for instance it's uh, cracked right there and uh, many other places it's uh, also cracked right there so this is probably, you know, these cracks are probably done, uh, you know, from the factory. Uh, I would say that this, uh, this uh, cabinet is not the best choice. Um, and not to mention the speakers. I mean, I know this brand, of course, uh, Turbosound. They make, uh, in some cases, decent speakers, but, you know, I don't really think they have anything to do in a guitar 4x12 cabinet like this. So, yeah. Um, there seems to be, uh, I, I would say massive wood, but you know, this is some light wood, I would say. Probably some Chinese uh, uh, light wood of some sort. And uh, they even have MDF right there. Uh, pretty much everything in this uh, cabinet is MDF. Even this, uh, you know, these things over here is MDF. So yeah, um, I'm I'm not really impressed by this. Um, it doesn't look any good at w at all. You know, for the price, of course, you get a four by twelve with some speakers in there, but. It doesn't sound good, and now when looking on it from the inside, it doesn't look good either. I mean, this this is not going to hold up forever. Let's go ahead and take a look on the angle cabinet. Um, first of all, uh, this explains uh, why this uh, angle cabinet is so much heavier compared to the Bugera, because the magnets is more than twice the size as uh, these little things over there. Also, uh, this is uh, 18 millimeter plywood, which is a lot heavier than MDF. So that's, uh, that's just one thing. And the overall build, I must say, is a lot nicer uh, in this, uh, in this uh, angle cabinet right here. You can see that there's a lot more time put into to this uh, this cabinet right here. There's no cracks or anything like that. It's uh, you know it's it's very you know this is uh, this cabinet is built for the road you you know being on tour and all that kind of stuff. Taking this Bagheera cabinet on the road, uh, I don't believe it will manage more than a couple of shows and then it will be all broken I think because this uh, MDF is uh, you know it cracks for nothing you know it's uh, very easy to break apart so um, only thing that surprised me a little bit that they actually put in a MDF right here and of course you can see there's a little crack right there um, that's uh, you know MDF is very easy to crack so and uh, you know this uh, vintage 30s are looking massive I mean uh, they're they're really they're really big speakers I must say 
it's uh, you know the comparison is you know it's a very very big difference um, it's uh, you know <laughs> take a look at that uh, let me zoom here that one and then over to the vintage 30 there we go the zoom is working great here I have a, such a great camera this Canon 80D so yeah anyway also we got uh, metal uh, this is metal handles right here versus this one it's plastic of course it's plastic I mean this is a cheap cabinet right there so um, so yeah that's pretty much what it is also we got some not very fantastic built-in wheels here so um, the, you can roll this one on this side only because there's no wheels over there so that's an invention that is a little bit uh, confusing uh, versus this one where you have four wheels of course so yeah and here you have the the plate right there uh, where you can choose from mono stereo um, 8 ohms or 16 ohms and we got everything ho hooked up here so yeah that's pretty much what it is guys and also we have this here this is also uh, uh, this is also plywood here uh, thick plywood 18 millimeters and we got this uh, isolation things over here kind of like foam you know what this is so that is a good idea versus the other the Bugera the Bugera is uh, you have nothing on the inside and this is uh, also pl uh, MDF so yeah that's that's what it is so now you know what it looks like on the inside and uh, if you're on a budget of course you're gonna get some sound out of this box right there this uh, cabinet but nothing compared to this one you know you don't have to buy a new new uh, cabinet like this you can buy a kind of like a Mesa or Engel even Marshall even uh, you can even buy um, if you not uh, touring or anything like that you can even buy a, um, a Harley Benton with uh, uh, these uh, Chinese uh, vintage 30s and believe me these Chinese winter 30s sounds a lot better than the UK ones uh, there's a different type of tests on YouTube you can check out and in my opinion these one are the best sounding so yeah in this Bugera box right here uh, we have just the regular Phillips uh, he Phillips screws right there which is uh, probably the cheapest choice for this uh, type of cabinet um, versus this box right here this cabinet right here we're dealing with um, we're dealing with uh, Torx so that's a better choice because um, it's uh, you know it's a uh, it's a uh, a lot better screw actually so uh, also something that is a lot different is uh, the speakers are screwed like that with a Phillips head screw right there and this one you got these type of things from the other side so that's a lot better also I think that that's a lot better actually okay so there you go guys uh, I think it's kind of like very interesting to uh, make videos like this not just for the sake of the video but see for myself inside boxes like this I remember first time I took one of uh, a 4x12 apart well you know taking off the back lid so to speak I think I was kind of like 15 or 16 years old I you know I wanted to see what was inside and that was a um, I think it was a Mesa 4x12 or something like that. Whew, that's a long time ago. Well, anyway, um, this is, you know, 
I would say like this, you don't have to go and buy a brand new, very expensive cabinet like this, because, you know, this material is used in the most, uh, the more expensive cabinets. But, you know, there is a very great uh, used market, and you can get an Engel or Mesa cabinet like this for under, you know, the half new price, or even less than that. So... If you're planning of uh, spending uh, two or three hundred bucks on a brand new Bagheera uh, cabinet like the, the one I have here or, you know, Harley Benton or anything like that. Well, if you're getting a Harley Benton with Winters 30s, that is a great deal. But if not, uh, I suggest you go ahead and save up a hundred or two hundred uh, more to get a used uh, angle cabinet or, you know, anything that is more sturdy than the, the Bugera because uh, this is a really good material out there. Also, uh, a lot of them have vintage 30s, with, which is a very good speaker. Uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, compared to, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the UK vintage 30, in my opinion, they don't sound as good as, as the Chinese ones. Um, uh, in my opinion, there is a couple of good tests on YouTube you can check out and in my opinion uh, you know when comparing them side to side like that in that video it's uh, clear that these Chinese ones sounds a lot better yes so anyway I'm gonna wrap wrap up this video now and uh, it's time to uh, you know uh, screw back you know the back uh, back um, boards on these cabinets i'm not looking forward to it maybe i just have them open and play them like this we'll see what i will do anyway thanks for watching and i will be very happy if you go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up until next time take care now bye bye then